Hello, Chef here. So I had a request for a baby greens chopped salad. I decided to make a high protein version of uh, this chopped salad and share it with you. So here we go. Uh, follow along. First thing I'm going to do is uh, clean this basil. This salad is going to be loaded with basil because it's an antioxidant and uh, I like it. So here we go. We'll put a little bit of this chopped basil in here. Okay, that's good for a salad. Alright, little baby tomato here. Looking really nice. Perfectly ripe. Mm -hmm. Show you what the inside looks like on this baby. Wow. That's a tomato right there. Really, really nice tomato. Okay, I'm just going to put this into some small wedges like this. That's good. Okay, moving along here. I'm going to, uh, uh, let's see. I'm going to take my plate and I'm going to first arrange some of these baby greens around the perimeter just because they look really really nice love these curly ones this type of a uh, red leaf lettuce there really nice okay amazing color on these greens okay that's looking really good uh, for the chopped salad part we're just going to take a little bit of these greens like this and chop them up a little bit okay there we go and now I'm going to put these items right in the mixing bowl here even the tomatoes okay so this is going to be a high protein vegan salad I'm putting one cup of chickpeas uh -huh. I'm putting uh, some black beans that have been marinated with some tomatoes here oh yeah really high in black beans uh-huh I would estimate this to be about 40 grams of protein all vegan I'm gonna put a splash of balsamic vinegar I'll put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil Gonna add a few unusual spices here today. So I've got this is ahi amarillo powder, which is a uh, rare pepper powder from the southwest. Fresh sea salt. This is smoked sea salt today. A little more of this pepper powder in there. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah. It's good stuff. A little spicy. I like it. Okay. And I'm going to give this a little mix here. Chopped salad. Uh huh. And for the uh, presentation here, let's put a little bit of this. Well, these plating tongs are not going to do the trick. Maybe we'll get back to them. Oh yeah. Spatula. There we go. Okay. Okay, I will use the plating tongs just to put a few of these extra tomatoes out here. 
Okay, we're going to put one more thing on this salad, and that is some super healthy contrast flaxseed. Oh yeah, it's really good for you, looks good, gives a little crunch to the salad, and you want to top this possibly with your, your favorite cheese. I like Parmesan, but that's it. That's the end of the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, support your sponsor. Get cooking and have a great day. Wow. That salad's going to be good. Try these recipes out yourself and uh, come back and leave some comments. Uh-huh. I think an addition of grilled shrimp around the perimeter or some blackened chicken would make this really pop. However, this one's going to a vegan, so they're going to enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Fresh herbs. A little bit of uh, basil and oregano right here. Sometimes you just tear it up and you release a lot of good flavor. And it looks nice too. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Support your sponsor. Most of all, keep cooking. Oh yeah, the stuffed portobello. It's going to be good. Here is a finished mushroom appetizer. This is the best butcher block and desk surface, in my opinion. Countertops, islands, you name it. It's beautiful. Red oak is more porous, and it will accept stain a little bit more. This is the same thing here, except this one is mineral oil finished. And then we're going to make it look like this. This is dark American walnut. Same deal. Made in America full-length strips, food-safe glue, perfectly flat, perfectly square. Yeah, really, really nice. So stay tuned with me, and I'm going to be back and show you a few tips here. Here. So I'm using this block today. I noticed it's getting a little bit dry. Time to oil it again. So I'm going to be using uh, two products today. I thought I'd share them with you as I oil this end grain rock maple butcher block. So the first one is, uh, let me see, the first one is my, my standard right here and that is this awesome Boost Mystery Oil. Love it. Second one is the board cream. Okay, board cream, good stuff. So, uh, you notice they're different. The board cream's a little bit thicker. You actually have to squeeze it pretty good to get it out of the package. And the oil is a little thinner, so it pours out easier. So I actually take and mix the two together. I'm gonna put a little bit of my mixture on the block like this, right here. Uh-huh like that and I'm going to work it in plastic bag here a little swirl motion like this okay work it in real good uh-huh if your blocks really dry it's gonna suck that oil right up uh, this particular block has not been oiled in a while so it's sucking it right up really quick. You can see that. It's penetrating. 
Yeah. That is the video. If you need the products, your sponsors got them right there. Uh, this will be dry within a few minutes or hours. I'll just let it sit overnight and it'll be totally dry by morning. Thanks for watching. Keep cooking. Have a beautiful day.